de Bertan, back in September, Martin turned 30. So I thought it would be really nice to go celebrate in one of our favorite countries, which we first visited in 2014 when we left Quebec to move to Europe. So we headed to Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia. And this was the view from our hostel room. It was very, very central. We absolutely loved it. And this is what the room looked like. It was a private room. There was no one in those bunk beds. I'm too old for that. <laughs> and uh, we paid 65 euros, which isn't bad considering the location. Hey. Êtes-vous prêt à aller déjeuner? Yep. <laughs> yeah, let's go. This is where we had dinner last night with a nice gin tonic and local beer. And uh, we had a pizza, vegan of course, and it was absolutely delicious. I highly recommend it. It was also very conveniently located directly beside our hostel, which you can see in the corner. <laughs> we wanted to have breakfast there, but they didn't really have that many things on the menu, so we just took some coffees and headed somewhere else to have breakfast afterwards. Vikanika also didn't have that many things on the menu, which was surprising considering the Happy Cow page. But we had a nice bowl of granola with a vegan croissant and more coffee. <laughs> After walking around for a few hours, we got hungry again and we headed to Organic Garden and tried some very delicious burgers and sandwiches. Of course, we bought some food before heading to the cottage, which was a good idea because it was quite secluded. Uh, so at the market, we got some fruits, some dried figs from Croatia. And these veggies we got from a very cute old lady who didn't speak a word of English or anything other than Slovene. <laughs> and she was selling her veggies super cheap, 
we kind of felt bad for her but she was very nice uh, we also went to a small market uh, more like a small shop where we bought some tea some oat milk uh, some ginger for my throat because I was quite sick at that time and two kinds of tofu so this one was already marinated and everything we got some vegan pesto and some plain tofu we also went to a regular supermarket and we were quite happy to find uh, some coconut yogurt and sliced cheese. We also got some coffee, which we later realized was Turkish coffee. It was absolutely awful. <laughs> and we were not planning on buying avocados or bagged lettuce, but it was discounted. Uh, so we bought it so it wouldn't throw it away. And uh, yeah, you can see the rest of the things we bought, some nuts, some bread, and uh, we made a pasta that night. So this is a recipe that we make whenever we travel or where, when we just feel too lazy to cook. So in a pan, uh, on a high heat, in a little bit of oil, I just saute some veggies. In this case, I had sliced mushrooms and leek. And once the veggies are almost done, I added some garlic and cubed tofu. And then I fried that up for a few more minutes before adding some chopped artichokes. We really like adding those. Uh, we also like adding sliced olives or sun-dried tomatoes. Finally, I added half a chopped tomato and simply reheated it for a few minutes in the pan. Meanwhile, I cooked some whole wheat pasta, so I added some vegan pesto. I simply mixed it in and then I just layered everything in two plates and we had a very nice evening in front of the fire. Mm -hmm. 